On farms across Africa, seemingly incautious brown and beige caterpillar is waging a silent war, devastating rural incomes and posing a major threat to the continent's food supply. This little caterpillar seems harmless, yet it causes great damage. In two years, the fall armyworm has colonized three quarters of Africa, attacking the staple food maize. Wycliffe Ngoda, a farmer in western Kenya, was hard hit in 2017. I lost 50% of my usual harvest, so that automatically translates into 50% of your harvest, of your you know, less income, so you have to source from outside, and last year the maize price hit its highest. Over 200 million farmers and their families grow maize as cash crop. Experts fear that if the worm is not contained, there could be rougher times ahead. It is one of the deadliest crop pests in the world. Uh, it has a capacity to attack uh, a, a number of crop species. Maize is of course its major preference, and maize being the staple food crop of Africa, uh, the, there is a very serious concern about uh, the threat to food security. The fallen army one is perfectly adapted for destruction. It nestles in the leaves around the head of the maize, attacking it methodically, leaving behind shredded leaves or hollowed ears of maize. Its life is relatively short, a month and a half. It turns into a moth in its last two weeks and can travel up to 100 kilometers in one night. To fight back, farmers have adopted several measures in order to try and illuminate this furious pest. Last year they used ash. Uh, it worked for some. Uh, even up to soil. Huh? Some farmers were putting soil in the funnel of the crop. Huh? And it worked for some of them. Because I think uh, it, it works with the issue of suffocation. It suffocates the pest. In the absence of a quick fix to eradicate it, researchers advocate the adoption of better agrochemic practices to increase yields and compensate for the losses. Pesticides potentially are another weapon. Drawing on Latin America's experience, some have identified that they are effective and available locally. However, the armyworm quickly develops resistance through prolonged use of the same pesticides, which must therefore be changed regularly in order to be effective. In addition, the use of pesticides in general is restricted by Kenyan farmers, and some of whom fear the environmental impact. One possibility is genitally modified maize designed to produce a pesticide which kills destructive insects. But scientists have found evidence in the United States that the armyworm is becoming resistant to the main GM corn strain. In addition, GM maize remains controversial. For now, South Africa is the only African country to allow on the market genetically altered seeds. The next few months will show whether the awareness campaigns, including for example, advice on alternating crops, mixed fields, and sowing earlier in the season could be other alternatives. But for the experts, one thing is for certain, the fall armyworm has made Africa its home. The only hope remains mitigating the carnage. With no quick fix in sight, researchers are now resorting to calls for better farming practices to increase yields with hopes of offsetting the losses caused by the armyworms.